Hello, I'm Matteo, the chief mobile opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the DJI Mini 2. Yes, you heard that right. There's no mention of Mavic, but it is essentially the DJI Mavic Mini 2 with its adjusted branding. I purchased this uh, the other day. I plan on upgrading the quality of the videos we publish on Drone Sundays, as well as some other little features we'll be doing here on Tech Travel Geeks through improved drone optics. And apparently this is what the DJI Mavic Mini 2, or the DJI Mini 2 as it's officially branded, brings to the table. Now this is a, a device which you can purchase on Amazon UK. We'll leave a link in the description. You can also purchase it from a website called Drones Direct here in the UK. But the key thing here is that it's the new mini drone from DJI. And this is the Fly More Combo, which contains a bag, extra batteries, propellers, chargers and accessories. But it maintains that key 249 gram weight. So it means that in many markets you don't need to register or have a drone license to fly it because of that reduced weight. Now, very handily, inside the cardboard box, DJI have packed everything into the official case, which I'm just about to open up. So here you have the DJI case. It has a nice little strap. This might be my next man bag. Let's just open up that paper with my jerry rig everything night. So as you can see, it's a nice little man bag. Uh, for context, this is not much bigger than the case of the DJI Mavic Mini. So it is very, very portable. Now let's see what's inside the bag, because it's all nicely packed. So inside the bag, we have a few things already in place. Now, there is the DJI Mavic Mini 2 or the Mini 2. To me, it will always be a, a Mavic device. And it has some propeller holders, but we'll go through that in a moment. Let's see what else is in the bag. So in the pouch at the top here, there is more. So in here we have a set, a pair of propellers for changing them. So this is going to be useful at some point in the future. There is an extra set of set of controller joysticks, very handy in some cases. A small screwdriver for the screws that go for the propellers, and another two pairs of propellers. So that's six in total. So you get six sets of propellers, which should be enough for around about a month of flying with my flying levels. Let's see what else is in the box. So we have a card. I'm assuming this is the documentation. Let me just cut through the sticker. So yes, we have a quick start guide, which I'll be sure to read. We have a customer service card and instructions for the two-way charging hub, which is uh, how you charge the extra batteries as well as some safety details. So all the documentation within a card, which is handy. And let's see what else is in here. So this is a box marked as accessories. Let's see what's in here. So we open it up and we have a DJI charger. So this is UK mains to USB type A. Let's have a look at the details here. So this is a five volt, three amp charger, 15 watts, or 18 watts at nine volts, two amps, or 12 volts at 1.5 amps is 18 watts. So this is an 18 watt charger. It's significantly faster in terms of charging than the one that was with the DJI Mavic Mini, which is good to see. And what else is there in the box? 
So we have the cables for connecting your controller to your smartphone. And in this case, USB type C is the connector for the controller. And you have here the option for USB type C, micro USB, and there should be a USB type A to USB type C for charging, which is great to see. Huh, interesting, there is no lightning adapter in the, in the box as far as I can see, because we have micro USB type C, these two are both type C. That's interesting, they're not catering for the Apple user here directly. You'll probably need an adapter in that case to be able to use that. And then here we have the bag that contains the triple, char triple battery charger. So you see that this has a slot for a spare battery. There is two batteries here, two uh, already in place. And so you plug this in using USB type C and the charger to charge the two batteries in the thing. You can charge three at once if you want to. So it's not entirely dissimilar to the one we had with the DJI Mavic Mini, but the difference is the batteries are a different shape. And from what I've seen from other YouTube unboxings and walkthroughs of the DJI Mini 2, you will be able to use the first Mini's batteries with the, the Mini 2, but you won't be able to use these batteries with the original Mini. They're slightly different shape. So that's really good. Nice charger. If it's like the other one, I'll be very happy with that. Okay then, uh, what else is in the box? And the controller itself. Now this is the new controller from DJI, which works differently. The base radio technology is significantly different from the one used in the DJI Mavic Mini 2. So this controller is a different shape, size, it's significantly heavier, but it uses, as I said, different radio technology. It's not what essentially enhanced Wi-Fi. It's operating at a much higher frequency so it can go further. Now, the way this works is you take your two controllers or two joysticks out of their enclosures at the bottom and you screw them in to the joysticks. So you have your two joysticks there. You then pull out, oh, here we go, an extra cable here. There we go. So we couldn't find the one for iPhone because it was already installed in the controller, which is good to know. So here we have the controller. So your phone goes here, gets clamped in at the top of the device, and then you use the controller for visuals as well as being able to use the buttons and knobs here to use the device. Now, the key thing I understand is that it has a dedicated physical button for takeoff and landing. It has the on-off button and a switch rather than doing it in software on your phone for cinema mode, normal or sport mode, which dictate how quickly the Mavic Mini 2 or the DJI Mini 2, I need to cor continuously correct myself, it dictates the speed at which the drone flies. Now there's extra function button and camera uh, button here. You'll see at the left, you have your camera snapshot or the recording button at your fingertips, as well as this wheel, which is uh, s slightly sprung, which is useful for uh, zooming. So you can use this to zoom because that's one of the key features of the DJI Mini 2. So, uh, quite a different experience, not only setting up, but also using the controller, rather than have your controller with the screen underneath it. In this case, you are expected to have the screen above it, which should be better in terms of visuals and reducing the amount of time you need to take spend moving from seeing the screen to seeing what you see above. Lukash has a bit more of a detailed video on how this controller works because it's identical to the one 
on the DJI Mavic Air 2. Yes, it's the DJI Mavic Air 2 that Lukesh has. So it's the same controller, same technology, but for a mini drone. Okay, so we've had a look at those key things. Let's look at the drone itself and take the stickers off. So as you can see, it comes extremely well packaged and that packaging has something that you get in the Flymore combo and which is quite useful. This holds the propellers in place. You see the diagram here tells you that you use the propeller holder to protect the propellers as you put it in and out of the bag and uh, how it works, what, what the logic is. So you have a strap that goes over the top and holds the top propellers as well as the bottom ones. So it keeps the propellers protected as you go. I'll put this sticker aside. And it's a nice little clasp here. I'll take that sticker off as well. The QR code for the product. And so that's for holding the propellers. As you can see, without the holder on, the propellers smooth a little. Now these are different propellers from the original Mini. These are red ones or orange uh, tipped ones. So I don't know what the significance is off the top of my head, but uh, I assume that there is a difference between these and the ones on the original Mini. Now let's have a look at the rest of the device. Now there is a tab here for the propellers in the front of the drone. And I'll take that sticker off. And so let's fold this out and see what it looks like. There we go. Oh. So this is the DJI Mini 2 folded out. Let's take the back sticker off and show off ports for the mic micro SD card and the battery. So at the back you can see we have the USB type C port for data transfer and for charging as well as the micro SD card slot and the port at the back which gives you access to the extra battery. So this is the third battery you can charge them all at once or charge one in the drone and whilst charging the other two if you're in a real rush. So that's great. Let's take the stickers off the front of the device here. And free up the gimbal protector so we can take that off and have a look at the cameras. So you'll see that the camera here is indicated as a 4K camera. That's the big upgrade of the Mini 2, of the original Mini, is that this can take 4K video as well as use that extra resolution to zoom in. It's a combination of computing power and a better camera setup, but we'll be putting it through its paces soon. And the Drone Sunday videos that we'll produce will be hopefully better than they have been up to this point. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Uh, we do uh, feature frequent drone videos or within our reviews and views of consumer electronics, which we believe make the travel experience better, we do include some drone footage as well. So let's just overall have a look at this. Uh, the drone has a light LED lighting at the back as well as the front now. So that's great to see. Uh, it still shouts out about being ultra light and it's surprisingly small when folded up, but not too big when unfolded. I'm just taking all the stickers off here. Uh, the excuse for that is that I like taking stickers off things. But more importantly, if you take the stickers off, your drone becomes lighter. That should improve battery life. But for now, what I'm going to do is fold up the drone after I've put the protector for the gimbal back on. This is a very well put together 
piece of packaging. So the gimbal protector, we can pop that there. And it clips in just as on the original Mini. And then let's fold up the propeller arms. One, two, three, and four. So that's really quite impressive. It is a very diminutive package when folded up. So just need to make sure the propellers are in place properly. And let's practice putting the harness on to keep the propeller, propellers safe. Now, my understanding was that this went Okay, I give up. I will actually read the instructions for this one. I don't want to damage the device before I've performed my first flight, but I think that's everything from here. There is a wonderful bag of silica gel, always useful for dehumidifying your, your device in the bag. I will actually leave that in there. There is also a front pouch on the bag here, which might be use, useful for those cables. There's nothing actually in it, but the bag is nice and sturdy. It's not as solid as the bag to the DJI Mavic Mini, the original one. It is a bit softer, so it doesn't have the rigidity of the case. But I think it's quite good for the battery and the, especially for the larger controller. It makes better use of set space. So, as I said, keep an eye on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. We will be pr publishing better videos of our Drone Sunday experiences. If you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, feel free to reach out to us by leaving us a comment in the section below. But for now, thanks for watching this quick unboxing of the DJI Mini 2. I'm going to have some fun charging up my batteries and getting ready for a flight in the next few days. Thanks for watching and goodbye from me.